Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sauce. Last night sucked, man. And I mean, not just NBA. MLB took a huge bath. So that, that dope MLB winning streak we were on, that ended last night. If it wasn't for NHL, this week would be all time terrible. But we're putting it in the past like we always do. Put the wins and the losses in the past. We're moving on to Thursday night and we got the series from hell. The series that's been beating my ass. We got uh, Warriors and Mavericks game five. Let's go. Welcome to the Swiss. Get the sauce. All right, we got Dallas on the road in Golden State for game five. Uh, obviously, Golden State up 3-1 in the series, as I'm sure you already knew. Line, Golden State minus seven. Yeah, we're looking at a big line here. Early action definitely leaning towards the Warriors. I think it was like 74% of the, uh, the bets and like 70% of the money as of midnight last night on Golden State. But yo, check it out as we cruise through last night and look at what's going on in the morning. There's definitely some sharps out there that like the Mavericks getting seven points. The money's almost even now. It's down to 55% on Golden State. Line never budgets. Still looking at Warriors minus seven. All right, let's run through a real quick breakdown here. We'll start with Dallas winning game four. The weirdest part about it is if you look at the stats from that game, they, the, the Mavs didn't really beat the Warriors in any statistical category. I mean, the Warriors shot 49% from the floor, 36% from three, solid shooting, rebounding, assists, turnovers, all three of those numbers were pretty much dead even between the two teams. That just shows you how important it is to watch these basketball games rather than look at the box scores. If you just look at the stats, you like, wow, this is a pretty close game. Dallas wins by 10, statistically pretty close. That's not how this game went. The Mavericks controlled, what, 98, 99% of this entire basketball game and one crazy Golden State run with about four minutes to go. They brought the game within eight, but it was never really that close but that just skewed all the stats for this game the problem is that is not the Mavericks main obstacle here the main obstacle for Dallas is are they going to survive that big second half Warriors run usually it's in the third quarter kind of reminded me of the 2014 15 16 Warriors they would go on like a 20 to 3 run every single third quarter so that's kind of the double hill battle that the Mavericks are facing here one they have to hit their open shots which it's been hit or miss, a lot of miss in this series. But when they hit, we've seen Dallas compete with this team and they have to survive the run, which, I mean, they survived in game four, but it was a crazy run in the fourth quarter. If that happens in the third quarter and Golden State brings the game within eight with a full quarter to play, we might be humming a different tune right now. So what's the answer? Can they survive it? Uh, probably not, but I'm not laying the seven points. I've been getting my ass kicked in this series, man. Um, I'm going with Dallas. Give me Dallas plus seven. I think they come out and play them tough enough to at least keep the game close. I'd rather have those seven points in my pocket. So let's go, Luca. Final ticket posted on KyleCrums.com and the Sauce Network app. All bets for all sports um, from the whole team posted right on the website and the app. We've had three bad days in a row, so we're due for a smoker tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, live movement, anything like that, I will definitely keep you posted on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check out one of those three platforms before you place your bets. All right, here we go. It's Thursday. We're having a hell of a shitty week. Let's turn it around heading into this weekend. Let's make some money tonight. I'll talk to you on Twitter.